Hello guys, Norfolk Tall Guy here again today. Um, I thought I'd, you know, approach a different camera angle for once. Maybe put myself in front of the camera and to, um, just for an intro, um, instead of just seeing my hands and the tools I'm working with. Um, but yeah, I've got an interesting video today. It's a bunch of screwdrivers that I've got off eBay. Um, the pictures weren't very good, um, but there was one screwdriver in there that I, I, I was quite interested in, so I took a gamble, bid on it. And hopefully there's going to be a few more interesting bits in there. Um, and then the second lot of stuff I've got, uh, well actually there's two two separate lots. There's a few things I've got from the charity shop because, you know, I love uh, raking through the charity shops, finding things that I can make use of. Um, and then there's also a bunch of stuff which maintenance teams at work were going to throw in the bin and I couldn't see that happen. So I thought I'd dive in there and save it before it went in the bin. So stick around stay tuned and we'll run through them now right so this is the stuff i saved from the bin from maintenance plus one thing i forgot to show in my last video and then a few things from the charity shop uh we'll run through the charity shop stuff first and then um we'll run through this lot afterwards actually no i'll start with the thing i missed from the last haul was this pair of um cisnet or signet um combination pliers or linesman pliers um i'd never heard of the brand before and i looked them up online it turns out they're actually uh quite a high up there quality brand um and i didn't get these for very much i think they were about a quid a car boot so very chuffed with these so i'll make good use of them probably give them a clean clean up the handles and then we'll go from there um right what i got from the charity shop is i got this little two-way plastic container you know um, opens up on both sides um, I just thought this would be really handy for my Dremel bits um, keep all your uh, various sanding discs things like that cutting discs in here so that's another useful addition and then I've started building up a, a library or I'm trying to build up a library of various to, to improve things to go to when you want to uh, I don't know flick through and learn something new um, and definitely obviously trying to improve my woodwork and general other skills along those lines so I've got this the incredible router um, and this is just a whole book on various things you can do with routers various projects to undertake um, and for a quid from the from the charity shop it's all going to a good cause I thought why not make good use of that as well um, right so now we'll crack on with what we got from uh, maintenance at work we've got this new it's never been used or at least it's probably never been used maybe once um tub of silver hook multi-purpose lithium grease uh, this is a high temperature grease um and i was after some grease because uh, i've just used up the last of mine so I'll make use of that in my next couple of restorations then i've got a couple of this uh two rolls of this aluminium tape sort of the you know for ducting and things like that I probably don't have a use for it, but when stuff like this is going in the bin, you might as well grab it. So yeah, got two rolls of that. I got a pair of anti-vibration gloves, which had never been used. Might be handy for when I'm working on the wire wheel, maybe, or if I'm just yeah, doing a lot of um, heavy hitting, then they'll definitely come in handy. And then we got a box of, uh, and a full box of Easy Drive stitching screws. Um, for use with like an impact driver for stitching sheet metal and roof sidings things like that um, these are 6.3 by 25 uh, millimeters so definitely find a use for them at some point another thing that I thought was sacrilege that was going to go in the bin was this WD-40 with the two-way spray nozzle I thought you can never, you can never see uh, a fresh can of WD forty go in the bin. Uh, that's just an absolute waste in my mind. Um, one of these little um, plastic containers. They're always handy. Keep uh, parts in when you're stripping something. Um, just a hook. We always use these for when I'm spraying. So make good use of that. Some electrical tape. Never go wrong with having more electrical tape. Um, this clip. Not really sure what I'd use it for, but it was there. And I just sort of bundled a lot of stuff together. I think there's a um, crush washer in there. So, yeah. Um, they're all things I'll 
some somewhere down the line make use of. And then we've got some polypipe solvent cement. I think this has got a shelf life, but when I opened it up, it seems like it's still fairly usable. So I'm sure I'll make use of that. Some silicone, because how much this stuff costs, it's always um, worth grabbing it. Uh, it. Not that it costs a lot, but if you can get it for free, you can get it for free. Um, a, a brand new can of contact adhesive. So this would be handy if you're um, sticking sandpaper down to a sheet, if you want to do some flat sanding, things like that. Um, and probably many other jobs. So another handy can. Then we've got some heavy duty cleaner spray. This is another thing that's never been used. Um, so saving things from the bin. That's all I'm going to say. And then I'm losing track of words today. And then we've got half a can of silicone lubricant spray, um, which is another thing definitely be able to use somewhere down the line. Um, we've got two of these little bags as well. Uh, turn, turn, turning key power systems, which are just sort of handy little storage pouches. I think this one's full of stuff. Um, which is all things, these are all just things you can, you know, make use of that I just thought it's such a waste going in the bin. Just like random, this one's full of screws and random fittings, hinges, um, yeah, so that kind of stuff. All, all, all um, things that will be used somewhere along the line. So I'll just clear all this stuff out of the way, clear the decks, and then we'll get onto the eBay screwdriver haul. Yeah, here we go, we're now onto the eBay screwdriver haul. Oh, Changing the angles quite a lot today, but this is normally the best way of doing a tool haul. So, first one we have is this uh, flat blade, um, which is go on, registered BT trademark. So, I don't know if it when it says BT is in BT like that, this is a telecom screwdriver, um, or if there was a brand, I'd need to look it up of BT. But yeah. That's a cool screwdriver. Um, see if I can find the one I actually bid it on, because and everything else after that is um, sort of an extra. A few things were displayed in the photo, so we've got a nice um, wood handle cabinet maker screwdriver here, which is a braids. Don't know if you guys are going to be able to make that out, but just under this surface rust here, it says braids two three six five made in England. And that's a lovely like handles in fantastic condition. There's great shape to that as well. Um, so that'll make a great cleanup project. And then we've got a Philo number 211 Germany registered uh, rated to 10,000 volts. Um, I don't want to be the one that tests that, but uh, I think I'll just take their word for it. It says recess two chrome vanadium here. So I've got my camera flipped around the um, the other way, so um, I keep going to uh, the normal side. I would do it. Uh, we've got like a tile scribe or um, or a scribe of some sort here, probably a tungsten tip. See that? See if the focus is going to work on me today. I've just got one of these sort of cheapy screwdrivers. It's missing the normally these have a striking cap on them, but the striking cap appears to be missing on this one. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh, so this is uh, this is quite cool. This is a uh, a Marples and Sons um, wood handle cabinet maker screwdriver. Uh, fantastic shape. There's a little bit of a gap there, but I'm sure I can I can close that gap up. Um, and this shouldn't be too bad to clean up, to be fair. Um, and then that will add that to my mountain of wooden handle screwdrivers. Uh, I just can't seem to let them go. And everyone knows my favourite are little tiny tiddly screwdrivers so we've got another tiny one here but it's a bit too rusty i've got, sh I've got made in sheffield i can make out um but i have to give it a clean let's get it on the wire wheel and then see if i can uh, identify a maker's mark on that then i'll post more of it on my instagram um if you do enjoy the content guys feel free to go check out my instagram uh it's at the norfolk tool guy um I tend to post a lot more pictures on there of things I find most of the time after they've been cleaned as well. Um, so if you do want to have a more in-depth look into something I've cleaned, it'll probably be on my Instagram at some point. Yeah, we've got this interesting 
um, flathead screwdriver here. Presumes like it was once had a ferrule, but the ferrule's long gone. But yeah, it's quite a slim sort of slim uh, profile on that one. All right, I'm just going to tip these out because uh, there's a lot more in here than I uh, I first thought. There we go. And right, I've got. No, I don't think I'm going to make out a name or anything off that. I think the plastic's deteriorated too far. Um, so yeah, it's just another flat blade screwdriver. We've got a vintage Halfords flat blade here. That's the old style of Halfords um, screwdrivers, probably from the 80s, 90s maybe. Could be even earlier, but I've got a very thin. So these are like um, you know the precision screwdrivers. Um, but I've never seen one this long before, um, so that's quite interesting. It actually might be quite handy for a couple of projects, so definitely keep that one to one side. And then we have, oh, we have a T. Williams um, Phillips. So we have a Williams Phillips screwdriver. I think I have one more um, Williams screwdriver somewhere. I'm not 100% sure where it is. Uh, right, then we've got a Toolmate. I think these are those little uh, screwdriver sets you get. Yeah. Um, so you get a handle that slips over. So we've got a pokey thing here. But all the bits are there, which is quite nice. And they seem to be in quite good condition. I know these are a, can be sort of a bit of a gimmick, but uh, it's cool to find a complete set. And uh, sometimes the gimmicks are just... It's fun to collect the gimmicks as well as collecting the real things. So yeah, that's quite cool. Ah, this was the screwdriver I actually bid for because I thought I'd never see anything like it. Um, so we've got a flathead screwdriver or a flat blade screwdriver going into a stainless steel or steel um, ferrule. I don't think there's any maker's marks, but I'll have to clean it to find out. goes on to then a wooden handle, but has a huge brass, knurled brass striking cap almost on the rest of the handle. There's a shame about a crack. There's a crack here. But uh, I'm sure that's something I can braid together. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was fantastic. And I saw that in the pictures. That was the only real screwdriver I could make out through the blur. Um, and everything just being piled on top of each other. And I thought I had to have that. I had to have that uh, out of curiosity more than anything. I had to have this screwdriver. Um, so that I think that'll be a fun uh, clean, future cleanup project. Oh, we might be onto a winner here. Um, there we go. Made in the USA. It's left of it and that's a snap-on so it just about is so faint you can see the the snap-on and made in the usa and i did re well, a couple of months ago i picked i ended up with a couple of snap-on screwdrivers so yeah quite happy to come across another one that's uh quite a nice find always happy to see that oh oh that's um that is a very interesting one We've got here because I don't see. I've, I think I've got one Craftsman socket, but this tiny little Craftsman Phillips screwdriver, like it's a Craftsman G, uh, genuine Phillips, um, not made in the USA. And that is a little beauty. So happy to find that. Like I don't know. I I, I watch a lot of you American guys, and you, you've come up with this Craftsman stuff all the time. Um, but we just we just do not see it over here in the UK, or not very often. So when you do find it, it's quite exciting, and um, I do get quite excited about American tools. I know, um, and uh, he found a, a Craftsman socket the other day, and I think he shared the same excitement I share when I find um, things like that. Um, so yeah, that was a great video. And right, then we've got one of these sort of um, multi screwdriver you know like the bicycle toolkit ones it just says city on this side and ph00 ph000 ph0 ph1 ph2 225356 so i'm guessing that just means the various sizes going it's going through the various sizes of uh, screwdrivers available on here so that's quite cool um i never see them with the actual markings telling you which size screwdriver it is um so yeah it's different to when you um what i normally see from those we have what looks like just to be the tip of a screwdriver 
It doesn't even look like it's a bit. It is just the tip of a screwdriver, which actually might come in handy. It might sound it might sound crazy, but bear with me. Chucking this up in my drill because I've got a few like large flat headed um, screws, which I really struggle with. If I if you know if you go nice and slow with uh, the drill, you might be able to just work with that. So I'll experiment with that in uh, <laughs> in the future. Then we've got a um, we've got a oh that's just the sizes two times seven and a 0.8 times four um, bladed bit. And then we have another um, Phillips bit. Not sure what kind of um, screwdriver set this would have came from. I've not seen that style of tip before or um, shank before. So if anyone knows what kind of uh, screwdriver set that may have come from, it, if not, it may have broken off from something. And we have another one here, the, you know, the standard with the wings to hold it securely into the handle. Uh, we have a small, well, it looks like a piece of an Allen key uh, that's been chopped off at either end. Um, so I wonder what someone was using that for. My all-time favourite type of screwdriver are the Stanley blue and red handles, and this one looks like a posi. And I don't think I have the blue handle posi. So, yeah, that's a cool find. Happy about that. We've got more of a uh, modern Stanley Phillips here. So we've got a lot of screwdrivers in this all. This is cool. I've got quite a few of these and I do like collecting them and cleaning them up. These um, sort of angled screwdrivers, you've got a Phillips one end and a flat blade on the other. So that's a cool find. Uh, we've got a wood handle with, I don't know if you guys can make that out, half the, half the uh, handle splintered off. Um, just a, no, another flat blade screwdriver. And we've got a jelly mold, chrome vanadium. Made in Germany, but doesn't appear to have a maker's mark. I did have a few CK screwdrivers, um, which were the jelly mold style um, before, but I'm not sure. This is made in West Germany, so sort of probably from the 80s. Um, and I know normally you'd find foreign stamps somewhere imported, but because it's got West Germany on it, I'd imagine it's probably from the 80s. Right, we've got a rather crusty rather rusty um stanley red handle phillips oh not phillips uh flat blade screwdriver and then we have a nice big gh47 i'm not sure that i've never seen that logo before but it just says india wood handle screwdriver um bladed one a is this a stanley of yeah oh yeah stanley here made in the usa um, we just had a hole drilled for it. Oh, I've got to get things back in focus. I keep taking things away without realising in my sight. Uh, we've got another jelly mould screwdriver here. Not quite as clean as this one. Um, we may be able to clean that up at a later date and uncover a name. But always happy to find those styles. I do like the jelly sort of style um, screwdrivers. We have a Phillips head here, which is... Handle seems to have seen better days. Don't think it's a. Uh, it might even be a hand, a homemade screwdriver. Maybe an old shank out of a deteriorated plastic handle, like uh, the one I just show, and then someone's tried to make their own handle for it. We have a very fine tip Stanley red handle. Where the red has faded quite a lot, so I might see if I can try and. If anyone knows a way of, you know, trying to restore the red, bring it back. Um, leave a comment down below. But yeah. Another one of the Stanleys. I, 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 that is my favourite type of Stanley screwdriver. Um, then we've got a little unbranded pokey thing. So Magdad will be happy about that. Oh, it's... Oh, is that going to come out? It's actually removable. It's quite rusted in there, so I'm probably going to have to soak it for a bit. But it's a removable pokey thing. So that might be where some of the other bits in this set go. Then we've just got one of these old, you know, the old steel watchmakers, jewel, uh, jewelers, um, precision screwdrivers. This one has seen better days. Uh, it doesn't appear to be by any specific make. 
Yeah, we're coming to the last few uh, few lots in this haul. Um, we've got a really loose on the handle um, plastic handle screwdriver, which is crusty. It's Germany, and that's all I can. Oh, German import, foreign, made in Germany. And there is a name there, but I can't quite make it out. So I'll have to give that a clean and see if I can get the name better. I'll post that over on my Instagram. Another sort of fairly long precision um, screwdriver. So quite happy that I'm getting quite a few precision screwdrivers. They've been a bit of godsend recently with some of the things I've been doing. Um, a little yellow handle stubby. It says uh, West Germany. But no other brand names on there. So, but I do, do love a good stubby screwdriver. We have this interesting square shank screwdriver with most of the handle snapped off. But, you don't see many square shank ones anymore. And then we have another bit. Uh, this is the, this style of bit. So, uh, yet again, I'm not really sure what kind of set this came from. This is just a flat bladed bit. But yeah, so that's everything I've got for you in this first haul. Um, so um, this is what I've got coming up soon. Oh, if I show you it, just down here, this is what's coming up soon. So if you guys enjoyed what you saw today, um, you know, give me some feedback about, you know, are you liking the changing of camera angles? I'm trying to work out better lighting in here and get a bit more involved in my commentary. But um, yeah, no, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Your um, support is always welcome and it encourages me to, you know, keep keep doing what I'm doing um, and I'm really thankful for it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Bye.